You're welcome back to the post. And before we go, in a strategic move to bolster Ghana's agricultural sector, the College for Community and Organizational Development, in partnership with Lola Group Turkey, will be providing organic fertilizers to 87,000 farmers across the savannah of East and Upper West regions. This initiative aims to enhance organic farming practices, thereby supporting the livelihood of thousands of farmers and contributing to the nation's social economic development. Dr. Gabriel Benaku, President, CCOD, and West Africa representative of Lola Group joins me in the studio to shed light on this matter. Doctor, you're welcome. Thank you. So what inspired the partnership between CCOD and Lola Group, Turkey? Yeah, thank you. Um, over the last three years, I've been modeling uh, a sustainable program for Ghana and uh, West Africa uh, because of my background. And so I had the opportunity to sign a partnership pact with the Lola Group to support agriculture, education, health, and social services, including social economic activities. Mm -hmm. And so um, the Lola Group is uh, a Turkey-based uh, investment platform for non-recourse funding. Mm -hmm. Non-recourse funding simply means grants. Right. That support social good. So I'm currently working with government institution, the Catholic Church, and NGOs to be able to draw these resources that they have for social good into the Ghanaian uh, local economic development. Mm. So basically, the partnership for the next 10 years is to support Ghana's agriculture, health, and education. But one of the beneficiaries, which is Mihonsu International, mm -hmm. is an NGO that is working in 10 regions of Ghana is going to benefit a package as part of the six priority projects that has been approved by Lola. Perhaps, perhaps we can talk about the projects. Yes. So uh, one of them is going to roll out this agroecological intervention, right. including ag uh, organic farming, agroforestry, uh, social economic tree planting, and responding to the climate change mitigation. Mm -hmm that we experience, especially in the northern part of Ghana. Mm -hmm. so, so specifically, the, the, the target area is the northern part of Ghana? Yeah, it's from the savannah. From the savannah. From Hafu to all the northern region uh, of Ghana. Why this specific concentration in the... There's evidence of research, there's evidence of best practices, and there's evidence of poverty from the savannah to the northern part of mm -hmm. Ghana. So this is not discriminatory. Of course. It's just to respond to, to the reality. To the data, on if the, you like. On the, on the ground. And we know that this part of the region also supply the chunk of food to the rest of the country. Mm. And so when you put in intervention there, you are actually utilizing the, the weaknesses that they have and you leverage on that to support the other economies. Right. Because you need productive economies to, to also be able to provide back services into deprived areas. So our main target is to scale out to the country, but to focus on the eight regions within the next... Uh, so, so in terms of targets, is it wholesale or if identify farmers that you'll be working with? Uh, we have a, a value chain mechanism. A lot of interventions will reach different categories of group. Mm -hmm. For example, women group who are into village savings and loan. One of our local NGO is a strategic partner that will be handling women who are into VLSA, that's village savings and loans. Mm -hmm. So they receive, for example, uh, sogum. Mm -hmm. They go into production organically, and they, or there's already an off taker that will, will pick it up right. after production. So we are going to ensure that standard based on research are adhered to. There's already a best practice in the northern part of Ghana on how to produce sogum mm -hmm. that is wholesome, that is organically standard. Mm -hmm. So, 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 so in this case, they benefit from farming inputs. Sorry, oh, they, 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 they will be benefiting from the seeds or farming. Yeah, it's inputs. a package. Okay, they will benefit from site selection and all the extension services. Mm -hmm. They will benefit from capacity building. That's good dynamics. They will benefit from savings and loans mm -hmm. packages. They will benefit from uh, linkages to access to market. So it will be a holistic 
approach that, uh, including the organic product. Mm -hmm. Now, what we are going to do is we will put up organic production centers across the eight regions. Okay. I think there are going to be about 100 of them. Mm -hmm. So these hundreds with the technology, we set up the system to produce and supply such number of farmers within that particular zone. Mm -hmm. And then the extension, we are going to collaborate with the Agri Extension Unit to be, and the Crop Research Institute to be able to support services to these farmers. And for how long do you, do you want to sustain this project? For now, the phase one is five years. But we emphasize that our long-term partnership with Lola is 10 years. Mm -hmm. So we emphasize that after five years, we have already started uh, discussing as they were in Ghana. We are already discussing about if this one succeed, what next? Mm -hmm. And one of the critical things we want to put up in Kentampo, for example, we, want, we, we have taken a 50-acre land. Mm -hmm. We want to put up a production organic farming production center. Mm -hmm. Because that has been one of the major challenges. When farmers now know how organic production is done, they cannot do large production at the community level. Right. But you need a zonal service center where it will be more economic to move the uh, organic produce there, uh, products there to supply the, to the farmers. Okay. So we will do one in Kintampo, mm -hmm. we will do one in Savannah region, uh, uh, in, in Tona, right. which is also closer, and then we'll do one in Wale Wale. Mm -hmm. So these are the areas that we want to put up uh, production centers using the techies uh, technology to be able to do that. Uh, time is running out on me, but uh, in terms of national benefits, yeah. how do you expect this project to benefit the entire country? Yes, uh, why Lola Group supported this intervention is based on our innovation that we seek to bring. While working with farmers, we integrate uh, microfinancing services. That will help them to know how to save and how to improve on their savings and financial literacy. Mm. So that will help them to know how to conduct more agricultural uh, intervention or businesses. The, the, the next sustainability is that out of these 87 farmers, it will affect more than 300,000 uh, households. And they will all know the technology transfer of how to produce organic right. fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And these 300,000 households are going to benefit economically, socially, and in terms of uh, education, they will be able to improve on children's education, having access to tertiary mm -hmm. and other vocational uh, uh, skills right. training uh, services. So ultimately improve farming and also reduce poverty? Yes. Okay. It's, 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 it's going to be three. Farming, uh, improving on the agricultural produce, it reduces poverty, but on a more serious note, we will contribute to the climate change mitigation factors. All right, Dr. Gabriel, thank you so much for coming through. Thank Hopefully you. with time, we can get to understand this. Thank and, you. And, 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 and when the project gets under, we'll, we'll find a way to do Yeah, we already have done the evaluation and all those things. We will update you as and when we are in the field all right. working. Folks, that's our show for today. For more stories, log on to our website, myjoyonline.com. Stories on myjoyonline.com. If you are truthful, they say you are disrespectful, but they clap when you lie. And plus other stories on myjoyonline.com. Let's Talk Showbiz is up next on Join Us. Whatever you are up to in the hours ahead, I hope it's profitable. My name is Elton Bob. See you tomorrow, same time, here on Join News.